demonstration of getting started with Axway's API Central. API Central is a SaaS version of Axway's API management solution and is currently in tech preview and available on the Axway website. So here I am at uh, axway.com and uh, to get to API Central, I go to Customers, Platform, and at this point, I need to log in with my platform credentials. And if you don't have an account, you can click on this link and get a free account. And I'm going to enter uh, my credentials here. And now I'm in API. No, now I'm on the platform. And in order to get to API Central, I click on this main navigation menu, go under Labs, and there's API Central. Obviously, you can also get to it by clicking apicentral.axway.com. So here I can register an API. Uh, then I can also create a client app so I can add security to that API. And then finally, I can monitor and watch the traffic of uh, my APIs. So the first thing I'm going to do is register an API. So in order to register an API, I'll click on this button. And I either need a local Swagger file or the URL to a Swagger file. So in this demonstration, I'm going to use an API Builder project. Uh, and you could see here I published that uh, my API Builder microservice. And here is the base URL of my uh, microservices. And if I come back to Chrome, I do have my API Builder Swagger here. And as again, it's the base address plus um, API doc slash swagger dot JSON. So you add that to your base address and here's my swagger doc. I'll copy that. I'll come back into API Central and paste that in. So now I've just registered this API. I can uh, create a, a name for this API and it is salesforce.com microservice and I will put it at sfdc slash API and it is I'll use the name as the description as well and I'll click save okay so I eventually want to add um, API key authentication to these API's so I'll come under policies and I will click on um, the authentication and I will change it to API key and it's um, the API key location will be in a request header and the field name is bearer so I'll save that and at this point I will deploy that API and I'll deploy it to my test runtime for now Okay, what I want to do next is I want to go to my registry and add this API to my default team. So let me click on, that's the only team I have here. And let me go under APIs and I will add that API here. This will make it available later when I go to create an application. So now I'm going to go to apps, uh, create a new application. And I will call this salesforce.com mobile because the mobile team in my company needs these APIs for a project they're working on. And uh, they are members of the default team. And I will click, uh, let's just call this salesforce.com microservice for mobile app. And I'll click save. And at this point, I can add authentication. Currently, we have API key authentication. There is my key, and this this the validity will will not terminate. So I'll just leave it valid at all times. So it never expires. And now I just need to add the APIs to this uh, application. I only have one API, so let me select that and add it. Now at this point, my APIs are deployed in my test environment and they are secured with API key authentication. Now, uh, maybe I should, can copy this, but you'll see in the testing page, I don't even need that because this will be available to me, but I'll copy it anyway. And if I come back under API proxies and go back to this um, microservice, I can actually test it. So the test runtime is the only runtime I've got currently. And the API key is right here. I'll select that. 
And at this point, I can now test any of these APIs. So I will come down, account with opportunity is the um, aggregate API that I created. And I can now execute that. And now I'm accessing um, this aggregate API, which brings down accounts and associated opportunities that the mobile developers had asked for. Plus, there's all, all the rest of these APIs as well, and they had asked for all of these. Uh, let me try another one. This is the, uh, the base opportunity API. Let me run that. And I got a valid response. So you can see that I was able to test out my APIs um, uh, in API Central. Now what I can do is I can go under API Observer and I can actually monitor the API usage. And I can see I made two successful calls, uh, two total, there were no failures. And I can check obviously different runtimes, uh, different proxies, I can look at apps, etc. So here I'm looking at proxies, but I can also look uh, at apps. And really, I only have one app, so I'm seeing the same thing. And uh, I can also look at the traffic of each API request. Uh, this was the first one. And I can see how long it took to execute. So I can get lots of useful information here. And what we saw in this demonstration was I took uh, a Swagger document for microservices that I deployed in API Builder. I proxied them in API Central. I added that API to a team, then I created an application so that I could add API key authentication to those APIs so my mobile team now can make calls, secure calls to those APIs, and I can monitor those API calls. Thank you.